So that's set up. Now the other part of this is, is to make sure that we can define objects to accept the material. So the materials themselves are great, but we also want to begin to uh, assemble a takeoff and begin to see things before they actually exist. And this is really just because you can't assemble key schedules from, from materials. So the other part of this is I need to load in uh, that material object container. So I'll go ahead and go insert, load family. A shortcut here. Materials. Okay. So I got the material tag and the material container. So those are two new things. I've edited your material tag, and I'll talk about that a little bit when we get to tagging objects and things you can add to it if you don't like the one I provided. And then also the material can container itself. Go ahead and open those. It's pretty quick. And then if I look at the material container, so this is the one that's very, very important. And this goes back into, into Terry's question on how to lock people out of doing stuff. So this one that says duplicate me, do not remove, that's very, very important not to not to even touch that because that's setting up the default for all the other objects. So if I wanted to change um, kind of how this gets laid out, what I can do is go ahead and edit that family. And any change that I make is going to populate to that duplicate do not remove me type. And then it's going to clone that for every material I have in my Excel file. So by default, I've set it up to say I have a box. That box has a, a length with an height. Oops, sorry, you can rename those if you need. They're not scripted. And then it's ready to accept a material uh, with that. Okay, let's see.